today I'm joined by Yvonne Martin from Agents Giving. How are you doing, Yvonne? Hello, David. I'm really, really well. Thank you for getting me on to your podcast. Brilliant. It's, a, it's an absolute pleasure. Absolute pleasure. We always bump into each other at um, uh, uh, industry things, mostly Agents Giving industry things, which you have done an amazing job uh, with and um, recently recognised as well last year um, and really, really well deserved. I don't think a lot of agents know, though, the the absolute help that you can give them in setting up their own sort of fundraising events and, and things because you do have that grant fund there. And very often we all know that to organise events that are going to engage members of the public and raise money for charity and awareness of various different causes there are setup costs involved you know you're going to need something you're going to need some sort of collateral to get you off the ground but your grant can really make that difference can't it it can it can and thank you for that great intro that's brilliant i am part of a team i've got a lovely uh teammate vicky gerton and obviously jane from jp from social angels she supports yeah. charity a lot um but yes um, I feel that the industry are missing a small trick um, that we can help all their fundraising and because it's not easy when you've got to set up costs. When you're fundraising, you've got to take that cost out. Sometimes you look and you think, gosh, I haven't got much left. I've done a great event and I'd like to put it, you know, I, I, I would have liked to give them the charity more. Well, agents giving, the reason it was set up was to promote all the great work that the industry actually does. And they raise millions for local charities and they don't seem to get the recognition. And not that they're after the recognition, but it, what it is, it's giving a shout out for the actual charity. Gives, you know, gives people the awareness, gives them, you know, we always give them a good link and a good synopsis about the charity as well, what the great work they're doing. So all in all, yes, we have the grant fund um, and we'd love the industry, state agents, suppliers, letting agents to, you know, get in touch and we can um, give them a grant to help them with their costs and set, you know. Set and, it's, and it's really simple to apply for it. It's not complicated. No, no, it's nothing. It's just, it's on our website on the Burger Grant Fund. You click on it. Um, it asks simple information. It will take you about two minutes. You know, your name, your email address, your telephone number, what you're doing, who you're doing it for. Um, I will contact them and basically speak to them and give them some advice or they can let me know what they're doing. Write a little story, a few paragraphs um, with a fundraising link and of their own fundraising link. And then we'll put it on our website and we will promote on social media. It's, a, it's an amazing resource, guys, because you, you've got to understand how lucky we are as an industry. Other industries don't have this. They don't have this kind of setup where you are going, you're actively encouraged to, to do good things and, and enable um, with funding as well. It's just a, it's a great opportunity. It, it is, really it is. is. And we, as I said, you know, and it's, it's great because obviously then at the, in the summertime from the year previous of all the fundraisers, actually it comes up to the end of May, they go into a um, automatically go into a um, into our database so that we can actually do the fundraiser of the year awards, and then obviously they're put into categories of either you know individual team creative. There's eleven categories, and then obviously we pick the outstanding. We pick the fundraising champions of the awards for 2023. So we'll be doing that. But as I said, we'll be coming onto that hopefully um a bit later yes yeah, it's, it's great because you can get not that you need to get recognized but i just think it's great for the industry can see what the great work that you're doing i i think everybody wins in that scenario that the charity you're raising money for wins because that they're they're getting higher prominence and they're going to reach more people i think the industry is that as a whole benefits because you know we're getting the word out there that agents aren't what people stereotypically think we are and that there's tremendous things being done it in and that helps to promote it doesn't it oh most definitely most most definitely and I you know it's a great it's a great way to engage with your community as well you know you get a good um you know whether you're on the high street or whether you're on the internet 
you do get, you know, people see that, you know, you're doing great work. I mean, there's, we have quite a few agents that do stand out every year because of the great work they yep. do and they great. are recognized for it. Um, and then other, other agents want to get involved as well, which is great, but it's, that's only a trickle. We need to do, you know, to spread even wider. Yeah. And there's great agents out there doing great things that I'm sure haven't thought of it before. So, so please, please do get in touch with Yvonne and her team. But this year, Yvonne and her team have got some tremendous things going on. Uh, and, and even one new one she doesn't know about yet. I'm going to slip it in at the end of the conversation. Um, but um, Yvonne, you've got coming up a number of different events and, and they're great because they're attended by agents and suppliers you've got that kind of it's a really um connected feeling that you've got there and i attended some of these myself last year and they were superb so uh, kicking off you've got the golf day at donnington valley yeah this is the first time we've done a um down in south for quite a long time and so this is a new one on our calendar donnington valley we've got 16 teams so far we need two more teams um, it's all in aided charity and all these funds raised will go to the grant fund, they go to the food banks and they all go to Mayan charity. So this year, Agents Giving, our, you know, our big focus is on, um, we raise these funds, as I said, for, from all these events, and our big focus is on food banks, helping the local community and obviously Mind Mental Health Charity. Yeah. So these but... funds go into the grant fund that we give to everybody else. But a lot of, you know, we do make donations to food banks. and Yeah, no, but both absolutely vital um, causes at the moment. And, um, you know, more and more people accessing both of those, those two services and resources. Um, one that I really loved last year, and I, I'm, I'm hoping I can get to this year on 7th of May, is the boat race and look if anybody's never been to a dragon boat race before you have to do it with industry people because they they do get a little bit competitive sometimes they take it very seriously but it's all for a good cause and it's all in the name of charity last year we had a wonderful day because the weather was just out of this world and we all came home with with suntans um but it's a great day out and you're still looking for teams right it's not too bad no, it's not too late. We're still looking for teams. Um, uh, definitely looking for teams. It is a great day. It's in uh, Fellop Waters, which is a beautiful setting. It's just off of Ilford uh, and in Essex. Like it's really London based, actually, um, East London, um, yeah. right far out. Um, it's a great, great. Film. Don't let that put you off. Don't let no. that be of you. Come, you're welcome. Even the Everyone, North, everyone North, is welcome. We had people, we've had people down, down from Manchester, from Liverpool. Um, and the bonus is this year, it's because it's the King's coronation, which is on the Saturday. So Sunday, basically, is like a free day because it's bank holiday on the Monday. Yeah. You know, come and celebrate, bring your family, bring your friends, bring a picnic. It is, know, it is an absolutely superb you know, and I, I think everyone can bring, you know, Union Jacks, we can all celebrate together, which will be, which will be absolutely brilliant. Right. And again, all these funds, you know, they go towards um, the grant fund, Food Bank and Mind. There's great uh, sponsorship opportunity. We haven't got a, a sponsor for this event, which is um, realistically, it's, it's a great event to have on the calendar. It outreaches a lot of people, a lot of people within the industry. Yeah, so, no, yeah it, it's a great event. About, you know, they would like to sponsor an event within the industry that, you know, these funds will go to a good cause. You know, this is a great one to have. Yeah, no, it is superb. It's a very fun day out and it is family friendly. Bring, bring your families, bring your partners. Um, the, the, it's a lovely park. There's lots of facilities there and so on and it's just a it's a great day out for for everybody um but another one that isn't as family friendly depending on how simon whale is dancing that night um is the agents giving ball um and, yeah. and that's coming in in july so this year you you've got the simply the the um come strictly. dancing strictly yeah. simply yeah <laughs> yeah um, 
Yeah, we've got Strictly Agents Dancing. The fun, fundraising champion awards of the year. These will be from uh, 2022, from um, the end of May to this year, the end of May. Uh, the entry is open on the 14th of April that you can nominate. Automatic entry goes to um, anyone who's applied for a grant. Yep. But we will be on press releases and putting it out on social media that anyone who's done any, who would like to nominate somebody within the industry who's done fundraising, please push them forward. We have 11 categories and they will all be on our website very, very soon. So this is a great one. We do Strictly Agents Dancing. We've got 10 amazing um, uh, challenges from any, any good this year oh they're they're marvelous marvelous i can rattle them off <laughs> but i'm fine <laughs> i'll leave one out <laughs> and um but they're all on the website and uh, they go tuesday thursday saturdays to enfield on northamptonshire for their lessons it's tough we've got the fabulous abby scott from south wales and she yep. traveled up on saturday for a lesson took three hours to get there had a lesson and then three hours back home i mean that <laughs> is Tenacity. Do you know what I mean? Bless her. No, that is Will, uh, Will from X1 Lettings. He's up in uh, Liverpool. You know exactly the same. You know, yeah. it's real. It's real commitment. It's it real is commitment. real commitment, and they'll put in their heart and soul in it. So that will be a, an amazing evening. Yes, we've got tables to um, to sell tickets for. Um, again, we need. To, we've got a fantastic headline spot sponsor, Cool World, which is brilliant. Yeah, we still have sponsorship opportunities you know a sponsor award as i said there's 11 categories you can uh, there's a silver sponsor or a bronze sponsor you know there's plenty of opportunity to market your company and you know collaborate with agents giving and, and it's it, it's a lovely it's a lovely evening it's down in epsom isn't it it's on um, epsom downs race course it's a beautiful summer's evening have the lovely terrace, there's, you know, pre-drinks, uh, lovely music before, and then obviously we have a great party in the evening with Sold Out Band. You know, it really is a great... It's, it's a nice evening, there's a lovely atmosphere because it's obviously it's all about the great work that agents are doing and that agents giving are doing as well, um, and it's great, and if you can support it, I think everybody would, would appreciate that. Um, there is another one, which I'm not going to, do you know what? I, I don't know if you can picture me on a on a bike. I'm not sure <laughs> I'm cut out for the great British property cycle. Could do the well, property no, bit if you want. Do, you can do that at home <laughs> in your kitchen or in your back garden and you can just cycle, I don't know, maybe a mile, two miles a day. You will add that, you know, that mileage onto our circumference that we're hoping to go all the way around the UK. So, so basically, people can can cycle either in real life, at home, in the gym, whatever it is that they're doing. But it adds to a global team total. Yes, you want to sort of go all the way around the the UK. How many miles is that? Well, I did know, I did know, mm. and I think it is. I've forgotten. <laughs> I'm going to Google that. You yeah, Google it. We did know yourself. because we worked out. I thought it was 186. <laughs> I could be wrong. I'm frightened to say that now. Uh, here we go. Let's have a look. Mainland Great Britain has around 17,820 kilometres of coastline. That's just over 11,000 miles. Oh, well, I was well out. Well out. I'm sorry. I'm just thinking I was going up and down <laughs> yeah. without going around. So. Right. Well, we, we've, we've got a bit of a job on our hands, people. You've got cer certainly, certainly got a job on your hands. Yeah. So, you know, um, we, we're we going to advertise it, all the events to try and get people to sign up. Um, and obviously we've got, um, you can take your just giving link for your own fundraising from ours. You set your own page up. Obviously, sign up to Strava as well so that we can document how many miles you've done, you know, yeah. and that we can start pinning, pinning around the donkey around all the way around. And also great tips because, you know, some of the social media, we can say, right, if we're, at the moment we're in, uh, say, I don't know, say Ipswich. Ipswich house market is. <laughs> yeah, no, it, it's great. And, and you can, you can have, we can shine the spotlight on different agents doing great things in those places as well. But I think it's it's a great idea because 
you need motivation sometimes and being part of that massive team to help get us further around that I, I think it's great um so that's are you, are you open for applications for we that? are open for applications it's on our it's on our website we're going to do full promotion <coughs> um, at easter uh just after easter it's it's a great thing to do and all these funds raised as i said will be going to uh food banks trust or trust or your local food bank and uh mind and towards the grant fund so that all funds raised will be split between the three so you know, it's it's great. You know, food banks are are completely, you know, hammered at the moment. Hammered at the yeah. moment. They're, 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 all their stock is depleted. You know, it needs to be every week. You know, special essential items need to be added. They don't always have. It's very disappointing when sometimes they can't give emergency food um, supplies out. You know, it's something yeah. that we're all very very mindful for as well. Last but not least is is another. If you miss this golf day, we've got another one for you in September. I can't promise you the weather's going to be as good, but you know it should still be good by then. It's the end of summer. Um, golf day at Morley Hayes. Tell us about that one. Yeah, golf day at Morley Hayes um, in Derbyshire. It's great fun. Um, we've had it there for the last three years. Uh, it's been oversubscribed, so we've been very very lucky with that. So if you, you know, come and join us. You, it, and the thing is with both the golf days, you don't have to have an ability to play golf as such and be a great golfer. It's for all abilities. Do you know what I mean? Um, and even in Donington, we need some ladies. We've got one lady at the moment. Now, come on, ladies, get out there. Come and join. You know, if we can get two teams of ladies, it would be amazing. I'm sure we can do that. I'm sure yeah, we can do that. And there's some, there's some great lady golfers out there. So, yeah, Morley Hayes is great fun. We had the drinks buggy go round. You know, we really have good fun. And, um, yeah, and it's a great breakfast, first of all, when you arrive, uh, bacon sandwiches, then it's a shotgun start normally, and then they're off and the drinks bug buggy follows. And, 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 and every year you get to turn up and guess how outrageously dressed Simon Whale's going to be. Oh, well, Simon, yeah, I mean, one year he didn't win. I couldn't believe it. He, he just didn't win. He wasn't outrageous. At all. It was a bad, it was a bad year. But, that. So he's, he's coming this year. So Christ knows what he's going to be looking like. I haven't got, <laughs> I'm sure he's planning as we speak. Be eye catching. Golf is one of those sports, you know, you need to be ostentatious. Otherwise, you're not going to draw in the crowds. Um, but all of um, all of your events and, and all the resources in order to sort of apply for grants and sign up for all of these great things and to get in touch with Yvonne and the team is at agentsgiving.org. Um, you're doing tremendous, tremendous stuff. Carry on. Um, you you keep us all going. And you give us some, and it's lovely because you it is such a positive, there are very few organisations that, it's all positive everything that comes out of there and as an industry you've enabled us to support major causes such as you know ukraine and, and so on and you were the first to sort of rush to that and and you did it and i think just hats off to you guys for always always oh, helping thank, us to achieve thank, thank you david just one little quick thing our easter egg campaign is launched and um obviously yeah if you can you know make your office into a don collection point, donate the eggs to the local food bank. Oh, I, I was hoping you were going to say it was a competition who can eat the most Easter eggs. <laughs> I was in with a chance to be a no, champion. take them away from you and Simon. Get those <laughs> eggs into your local food bank. Just ask your clients to come in, bring an egg, and you can drop it off. To, or if you can't drop it off to your food bank, drop it off to your uh, supermarket basket for the food yeah, bank. No, you, you should be getting on, on with that right now because obviously... Um, Easter's coming up uh, in early in April, isn't it? Yeah. Um, uh, Good Friday is April the seventh. Okay, so so get on it and make sure that those people who, who might not be as fortunate have have lots of lovely things at that time of the year, and it's great. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. No, thank you, David. Thank you very much. <laughs>